So we are at Solid Sound Studio, uh, where uh, Ben Cohen and our upper school choir uh, are going to record our school anthem um, that Ben um, composed and wrote. It's brilliant, and I'm so excited. Well, well, we need a little bit more level, please. Is that, so are we running all? Yeah, just, just give me like the first, the, the, the first um, stanza of it. Okay. Um, with choir, with piano too? Uh, both, please. So Peter and I were talking about how to make um, something that was individual for the school and something that sort of had a legacy that was enfolded in it, and I thought an anthem would be the best way to go. Um, all right, and uh, there's, it's a possibility too, Mr. Donato is just thinking that we can um, maybe, just so that there's good balance between uh, men and women, that we can have a separate, you might, you might be singing at a separate time, and then we can um, sort of reinforce the uh, sound. All right. <laughs> struggled an enormous amount actually. I've done my share of composing, but this was something that somehow made it very, uh, was quite challenging for me. And so I wrote the melody first, a kind of um, this, this, that sort of came to me. Um, and then I uh, wasn't quite sure at all what the chorus was going to be like, but I knew that in order for it to have a kind of resonate is that in a way that anthems resonate, it also needed to have specificity in it too. And so I, I thought of like the word Green Hills, I thought that was an important word. And I also thought things like Main Street and things like um, Griffin and, and tr trying to come up with something that had some individuality in it, but also that spoke to larger things. And the, and the um, evergreen in the wood was something I, that occurred to me on the way driving back from camp to Michigan. So it was, you know, somewhere around Erie. I think I, I, I kind of thought of Evergreen in the Wood and that sort of tumbled out. This piece is uh, rangy. There's something about the melody too that I got a little bit worried about, is this going to be something that's going to be singable for everybody. Um, at the same time, I wanted to have artistic merit and have a nice breath to it, and it being a real piece of music, not something that's just a kind of a short span uh, of range, or short range. Um, so I really wanted something that had uh, protein in it, as well as uh, something that could be um, feel familiar and accessible at the same time. Um, we have a separate mic on here, so we, we can bring that up. I think, I think the kids were really excited about doing it. I told the kids actually just the other day that this was happening, um, and we worked out some last minute descant things too, some, some harmony at the end, which was not originally in the teaching of it. And so they learned the harmony real fast, um, and then the idea of going into the uh, the recording studio really kind of jazzed them up. Everybody's always singing with their ears at all times, because uh, you have to sing with your ears in order to, to be in a group. But they were, they were singing with their ears this morning. And they were singing with the spirit, and they had Green Hills in their hearts, and I thought it was great. I want this to be the, the message of the school embodied in the song. And uh, I want this to be something where also people feel engaged to sing, that it's, uh, that to remind people not only are they Green Hills um, community members, but they're also singers. There's a singer in everybody too. And the anthem, if it's written well, and if it's got artistic integrity, brings out the singing in everyone as well. So down the road, uh, what I see is this becoming part of our culture, that um, you know, when our kids join, uh, we're already seeing it, actually. Uh, our athletic teams uh, on buses on the way home, after a meet, our cross-country team uh, is, is singing it uh, after they run. Uh, 
I'm looking down the road and our alums are going to be able to uh, you know, gather and sing. It's going to be something that's going to uh, bring our entire community on campus, off campus together. And nothing does that better than music and song. Uh, it's a great uh, sort of symbol of all of our voices being together. And uh, uh, again, I'm, I'm so proud of, of Green Hills and of our, our kids and Ben Cohen.